Okay, he got mulched. Now we throw the downward charge here. Now we open up on him with a machine gun. Okay, he gets ruined, and then I'm going to shoot this back wall with a machine gun here, and just open up as much of this space for me to see as possible. <gasps> no! Okay, welcome back to some Xenonauts 2. We have a mission to deploy to. I quite, quite, like, I quite like the way I'm doing these videos, starting with the, the mission deployment rather than doing a lot of stuff and then getting a mission coming up. Uh, if you remember, we have a cleaner leader mission to deal with, and... Um, if you look at the briefing for this, it is another mission where cleaner reinforcements will spawn for turn six. So we don't really want to be hanging around on this map for too long. I've put together a team for the mission. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, hang on, let me just click through. We're looking at um, Henry Gao coming in with a shield. I was going to bring grenade launchers on these guys, but they just weigh so much, I can't actually even justify them dropping it. Um, Kane is coming as our Mars. We've got Jake coming in as another shield. I'm making sure that everyone who's going to be in a forward composition is carrying demo charges. So unfortunately, our shields, even though our strongest soldiers are carrying these shields, they really can't carry a lot of extra equipment. Um, I've got Cool S and Game of Kane coming along in the assault role. We still only have one accelerated shotgun, so Game of Kane is having to make do with a standard, but the ballistic shotgun is still a very good gun. Again, making sure that they've got the demolition charges. Our shields and our assaults all have gas masks or rebreathers as well, so they're immune to stun damage from the smoke. Flesh Pocket coming in as a sniper. I've got Winning back and Anders coming as rifle medics. And then I'm bringing Doom Slug along as a heavy as well. I think the heavy, the machine gun might be quite useful in this just to suppress people. It was a very close call between this or a grenade launcher, but I think we're just gonna rely on the demo charges and Kane to do its job. Um, I just need to be careful because obviously we've got Game of Kane and Kane, even though they're very different characters, it's very easy to confuse the two of them on the mission. Uh, let's deploy to the mission. Launch the combat team. Um, there's a few other things that might trigger on the way. We're about to get our workshop built at the cube, although we're only at a thousand credits. Is there anything we can sell? Um, we can sell mag weapons, and it's letting us keep one. No, I don't want to sell our Mentark. I don't want to sell our Scion. I don't want to sell our Sibelian. So it's going to get us 40 grand, which I think is a lot of money. I don't think we need to worry about that right now. Let's just get Danny Boy on site. Is Danny Boy going to make it before nighttime? It's going to be very close. Um, okay, Angel, we have our second interceptor done. Um, which is actually great if I just need to go and equip that. So this thing here has no equipment right now. Um, I need to build equipment for it. I forgot about that. So let's go to engineering. Air weapons. Um, I don't have enough to build the weapons for this. That's really annoying. <sighs> okay, we're going to have to... Do I want to move weapons from one interceptor to this one for now? So we've got two interceptors with guns. Because I don't have the cash. If I sell those mag weapons, I do. Do I have anything that requires mag weapons in research here? It doesn't look like it. Um, and engineering doesn't need mag weapons to build anything. It needs alloys. So I can sell those mag weapons, uh, which are here. So let's just sell all 10 of these. That gets me 40 grand, which is enough to get, um, still not enough for an accelerated cannon, but we can just get an auto cannon under construction. And what I'll do is I'll bump that up under the shotgun. So shotgun gets built, then the auto cannon, then the warden armor. Um, now, the question is, is Danny Boy going to get here before nighttime? I think they're just going to make it. Yeah. Ooh, it's right on the edge. I don't know if this is going to be a night mission or a day mission. I'm just going to commit to it. We'll take it either way. A night mission might actually help us out a lot. And I'll see you on the ground. Okay. So as we know, we need to kill or capture the VIP to complete the mission. Um, we have to evacuate to get out. We don't just end the mission. We kill them. Reinforcements will spawn from turn six, so those reinforcements are scary. Uh, there's computers on the map that we can use to gain more intel, and obviously capturing the VIP is high high priority, but I'm not going to risk lives for that. Um, shipping containers, again, we are in the Florida Keys once more. Let's just see if there's anyone around the ship. Very important first steps here. Okay, we've got a cleaner agent right by the back of the ship. That's all I can see right now. He's in a little bit of an awkward position because if we step out, he will get a shot on us. And we only have a 60% to hit him here. Um, this is also a night mission. Looking at our inventory here, we have flares. So that's something to be aware of as well. Um, what have we got to deal with him here? I could take a 60% shot on him. He's wearing body armor. There's a good chance this won't kill him. It is an accelerated rifle, but uh, I'm not super happy. At the same time, I don't want to use up a demo charge at the start of the engagement. I wonder if we take this shot with wooden end back, see how that goes, and then we'll make some decisions from that. I will crouch them. Just give them a slightly increased chance to hit. 
and we will take this shot and see what happens. Okay, we got the hit. They got the return fire, unfortunately. We'll fire the snapshot. Okay, that is a kill for winning and back. That's a fine engagement. We took a little bit of damage, but I'm happy enough with that. Now we need to get out of the, um, the ship, and I'm actually going to use Kane to do that. So Kane is going to drive to here and check this way. Nobody here, but there is a gap in the wall. Usually on this map, the VIP is over here. So we kind of want to clear out. We just really need to clear out the landing area and make sure it is safe for our team to move forward. This is quite a scary avenue along here. Well, at least we've cleared out this we cleared out this one here. To decide what it is we're doing next. I think we're gonna bring a shield to here and see what they can see. So get them to look down this way. It looks like that's clear. We've actually got a lot more map over this way. Um, so there's gonna be some buildings over here. I've had a few firefights in this area before. But let's just see what we can see around this corner. We just to make sure there's nobody kind of in our opening area here. All right, I'm going to bring Anders out now. Um, I might bring Anders out here and next turn stand them on top of this container so they can see what's over here. I think that's actually a pretty good move. We'll do that with them. Let's get... Um, there's a ladder here which makes this a really good location for our sniper. So let's put Henry Gao here with their shield where they can just cover this area because this window here if we don't have somebody standing here an alien or a cleaner will go here and they'll shoot our sniper before the sniper gets to do anything i'm going to bring kane to this corner here and just peek now we need to be careful there could be someone around the corner here let's get game of kane to stack here with kane um the dream team and i'm going to get cool ass to come this way behind this shotgun we're going to bring Doomslug probably up to this position next turn. So I'm going to stack them here. And I'm going to get Flesh Pocket here where they can jump up, shoot, and then come back down again next turn. I think that's everybody I want to move. I don't want to make too big a movement this turn. The only person who's a little bit out of position right now is Jake. I'm going to put Jake behind this cover here and then face this way. Just so that if they get shot from this way, they've, they've got their cover up. I will crouch them as well. Um, I don't think I need to crouch anybody else. Let's end the turn. Five turns until landing, the Krillina reinforcements arrive. Glad I crouched. And we've got movement in the building across the road. Looks like they're shooting civilians. There's a pretty good chance that this is the building that the VIP is in because it has the reception desks at the front. I'm going to get Anders to hop up here and see what they can see. Okay, it looks like this is blocking their line of sight, which is interesting. I'm going to move them to here and do the same thing. So hop up to here, tell me what you can see. No, you know what it is? It's because it's a night mission. That's why they can't see anything. Let's throw a flare. How far? Let's throw a flare here. All right. Still can't see anything, um, but they need to get down off the, this container. We'll just keep doing that with them. Let's get Flesh Pocket to hop up to here. Okay, that's actually a better position for Flesh Pocket. I'm going to bring Kane to here. Look this, oh, that's why we that's why we moved Kane first, in case there was somebody here. This was like a good opportunity for um, Game of Kane to get a kill. So I'm gonna move Kane to here. I'm happy with Kane taking a couple of shots right now and eating that Overwatch. And then I'm gonna bring Game of Kane to here. And then we're gonna shoot this guy in the face. Okay, he's down. I'm gonna put our heavy machine gun in cover here. Um, sniper, it does. Flash pocket have a shot at anyone? Not from here. Um, I still think putting them up here is better. Let's just make them look, look this way. No sign of anything. Let's get them to move here. Do you still have some to you? No, you don't. You do. Let's throw a flare at the doorway here. Get some better line of sight. You actually have line of sight on somebody. Who do you have line of sight on? You do have line of sight on this guy, but you've got no TU to shoot at them with. You don't have line of sight on them. Let's check this avenue along here. I'm actually going to bring Winning Name back to this position. See what's this way. Move to here. See what's this way. And then kind of get into this position here. This is a really good way to cover this, this angle. They can hold all of this. They've got cover. Quite a lot of... Excuse me. Layers of cover to just protect us from aliens. We kind of just want to project out this way. I'm pretty certain this is the, vi the, the building the VIP is in. The last thing I need to check is this line along here because I need to make sure there's no aliens hidden here and there's no aliens hidden here. We already had a cleaner hiding in our starting area. So I'm just going to move um, Henry to here and step forward, and they're going to look this way, and they're going to look this way. It looks like it's pretty clear. I'm going to get them to just step up and cover this hole in the wall, and let's bring Cool Ass up 
to the wall here um, so they're ready to be part of the team that might push forward into this building. As I thought, there is a hole in the wall here. Um, it would be good to get a rifle here, but we don't have a rifle available to do that. Let's just park Cool S here, look this way and crouch. They actually have a shot on this guy, but the chance to hit from here is really too low. If I jump Flesh Pocket up here, they're not going to have enough TU to do anything, unfortunately. You're out of TU, so you might as well crouch. You're out of TU, so you might as well crouch. Let's put Kane in cover here, um, facing this way. You're going to jump up next turn, or you could step out next turn as well. It might, it's actually going to be easier probably to step out. What I want to do next turn is blow this whole wall away. So we'll maybe blow up this these doors with a demo charge, then fire a rocket or a triple rocket barrage, probably just a rocket barrage at this back wall to open up some firing lines for me. Everyone has moved apart from Jake here. There's the guy that shot at Jake. Let's throw a flare next to him. So we've got, we can get a good shot on him next turn. I don't want Jake to lose sight of him. So I'm gonna put Jake in cover here. Let's just check there's nobody along this line and nobody here. All right, Jake should be safe here. And let's make sure that Jake doesn't die and end the turn. Good job recovering this angle. Oh, I'm a bit annoyed about that hit. Good job with the shield. And again, the shield doing its job. That's a crazy angle for a shot. Okay, there's a lot of guys coming. Oof, that was a good shot too. There's a little bit, little bit of a lag in the game today. I'm not sure what's causing that. Just seems to be sticking a little bit between turns. Maybe need to reboot the computer. All right, how much damage is went in and back taking? They've taken quite a lot. I'm gonna take this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is throw a flare next to this guy. That'll increase my accuracy against him. So, oh, so it's still near 52, so it's bright enough here anyway. I'm gonna take this 52. Okay, that was a miss. I will take the 13. Okay, that's enough to kill him. Um, when in back can't do anything else, I just have to sit there. Uh, Henry Gao will take a shot against him, and then they will crouch, and they've got a snapshot. Oh, great work. That pistol marksmanship, that's impressive. That's very, very impressive from Henry Gao. So we've got this guy in the open here. I still want to open this up this turn. I think you will throw the demo charge. Let's see if we can snipe that guy who stepped out into the street. This is a great job for Flesh Pocket. Didn't get a kill. We're going to have to jump down. So we have to do something about him with another character. We could get... I don't think Cool S has a shot. No. Kane doesn't have a shot. I kind of want to shoot this guy with Doom Slug. So I throw the demo charge here. That blows the door open. Shoot him with Doom Slug. Just need to finish this guy off. That's the big problem. Um, we could throw a grenade at him, I guess. Let's just do that with Cool S. Can Cool S throw a grenade from there? 62% chance on him, so the scatters, the scatters as favorable as possible. Okay, he got mulched. Now we throw the demo charge here. Now we open up on him with a machine gun. Okay, he gets ruined, and then I'm going to shoot this back wall with a machine gun here and just open up as much of this space for me to see as possible. <gasps> no! Okay, that was a, that, that was a computer... Uh, uh, damn it, that was really bad. <laughs> and I just destroyed Game of Kane's cover. Uh, Kane's cover. What have I done? That was terrible play. I can't believe I did that. Um, nobody saw that. That was a um, a cleaner a cleaner mine was in place here. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I was too busy thinking ahead. I was just like, do this, do this, do this, do this. Okay, we need to take this guy out. Um, I can get here with 32 TU left. And then do I have a shot? I don't. I've got a normal shot. I think I'll just make that move and take the normal shot. I'd rather Anders finish their turn in cover. Um... If I turn them around, they haven't got enough to crouch, so we'll just turn and shoot. Oh, there's a second guy in the back there. That was a hit. Let's see if Jake can get the kill. Try again. Yes, good work, Jake. Okay. Um, let's throw a flare back here. Just in case we need to deal with this guy. He's illuminated, and you can't crouch. Everyone else has finished their turn. I'm so sorry I made that mistake. That was really dumb. Just I was just thinking too many steps ahead, and I forgot I forgot that Kane was behind a wall when I fired that rocket. 
two guys, MP5 and M16. I was expecting to see accelerated weapons on these guys, but it doesn't look like they've got them. Okay. Let's see what we can do with Anders and Gao here. A grenade might be a good idea because they're both standing next to each other. So we'll open up with a grenade. One of them just got mulched. That's great. We've also got a shot here. I've crouched first and fire. Okay, that's how you take care of some, some enemies. That's some good 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 shooting. All right, now we'll fire a rocket with Kane, and Kane will not hit anything but the wall. Except that wall. We'll fire another rocket back here. Okay, that's the back wall destroyed. We still can't see anything there. We're probably gonna have to move across the road. We'll keep Doomslug here ready to fire, supporting fire. I'm gonna bring Flesh Pocket up on top here right now. And look out this way. Let's throw a flare with Cool S. Um, maybe to like here. Oh, I was hoping that would clear the wall. Honestly, with that kind of with that throw, I thought that would be fine. Let's step Cool S back and do that again. Okay, no sign of anything. It's all blocked by that truck. Can I? Can Can you get to cover here? You can't. Can you get to cover here? No. So next turn, you're gonna make that run. I want to get Gamma Kane to here this turn. Crouch them down. I'm ready to cover this doorway if anyone comes through it. Um, I'm going to leave Flesh Pocket up here facing this way and crouching. Uh, you can't... You killed this guy, didn't you? You've And you've dealt with him. I think what we're going to get to do is you're going to medkit yourself and then move forward to here. And then we're going to bring you... You can't jump the wall, so you have to come all the way down here. So why don't you just come to here and then next turn you can come around the corner. And I think that's everyone. No, we still haven't done anything with Jake. I'm going to bring Jake up this way. Jake's going to be part of the team that's going to breach um, into this building next turn. So Jake's going to come this way. And they'll just face this way, ready to move next turn. And then we haven't done anything with Doomslug. Doomslug's ready to react to anything that happens over here. So um, I'm leaving them with, with TU so they can fire. I can't believe I shot the wall. We've actually killed quite a lot of cleaner agents so far. We just need to find this VIP and take him out. All right, I want to get Game of Kane to jump through to here. And cover this doorway. I'm going to bring Cool S to here. Where they can also, I think, cover the doorway. Yeah, we're going to open the door. Looks clear. I'm going to step Game of Kane to here and look in. We've got some intel. Game of Kane still has 32T. I'm going to step inside and look. Room is clear. There is intel in here, so we're going to grab this intel. I want to finish Game of Kane's turn behind this computer at the back of the room, facing this way, and they're going to grab the intel. And then Game of uh, Cool S can move to here. And I'm going to get them both to crouch behind this the cover that they've got. Uh, we've still got our sniper and our heavy machine gun on Overwatch. Let's get a shield down to here. Didn't take any fire damage, which is very handy. Uh, you're holding this position here. You're holding here, you're holding here. I want to try and grab some of the stuff over here if I get the chance. Uh, there's certainly going to be some intel in this room. So I'm going to bring Henry around to here. There's nobody here right now. What can you see through the window, Henry? There's some intel in the room. Okay. There's also intel all the way over here, but I think it's a little bit too far to go. Let's just get winning in back um, into this corner here. And then you can face this way. And crouch. No, not enough to you to crouch. Just face this way. So you're, if you take a shot from here or take a shot from here, it's going to hit your shield. Um, and you guys are good to go. And then these two haven't acted, but that's fine. I haven't done anything with um, Kane yet. I feel like Kane can probably move to here. Oh, Kane has actually spotted an agent. I think that's a missile opportunity. Let's fire it. Just wrecking these guys' days, really. And then let's finish your turn behind this fire. Just so it's a little bit harder to hit you. Okay, he got a shot there, that's fine. And let's end the turn. That's fine. Flesh Pocket is good not having acted, as is our Heavy Gunner. There's the VIP. In a firefight with our pistol, shotgun. There's a lot of guys. I like these, I like these reaction fire gunfights that come about. Oh, sniper shot. What a great shot. Ooh. Ooh. Cool S is running away. I don't blame them. They've dropped their gun. Unfortunately, they have the accelerated shotgun. So we need to recover that. We need to deal with these two guys here. We need to kill. Is this the VIP? This is the VIP. I, if Cool S hadn't fled, 
I would have tried to capture the VIP. As it is, I don't think we can afford to do that. I think we throw a grenade with Game of Cain and then see what else we can do. So that mulch the guy in the back. There's still the guy in the front. Um, he will be on very low health, but I can't get close to him to shoot him, unfortunately. Uh, 21 times 3 is not very high. We'll take the shot to see if it does anything. Okay, because I want to see what, what options I have after that. So we need to get somebody in here to shoot this guy. We need to deal with this guy. I think I know how we deal with um, the VIP. Let's just drop a rocket right next to him. And he's dealt with. VIP has been eliminated. Okay, we can actually extract now if we want to. Um, we have what? Um... Uh, we first arrive at the end of this turn. So we basically have one turn left. If I get Jake here, they're not going to have enough TU to fire. Um, I could throw a dead charge here, which will open up a line of sight on this guy. Let's see what options that gives me. Okay, they messed the dead charge throw up. That's really bad. Um, I don't know if Game of Cain can survive a turn against this guy while they're crouching in cover here. And Cool S is just just hanging out in the breeze, really. Um, let's get you to grab this. And then get as far back out as you can. I'm going to move Winnin back back to here. So they'll finish their turn here this turn. Because they just need to cover this location here. Uh, Anders is fine here. They can pull back to this dropship from there. We just need to deal with this situation. And I can't really see much I can do. Uh, potentially. Potentially. There is one option I see. Oh, but you don't have any debt packs. Do you have a rocket launch left in you? You do. I mean, I'm not going to try and thread the needle and throw that. What I was thinking was I blow this wall and then ju jump our sniper down and they take a shot. The sniper does have a debt pack. The sniper doesn't have a debt pack either. Cool S had a debt pack. You can't use your debt pack. I don't want you to fire a rocket. Unless I get you to fire a rocket here. Um, but you need 34 to fire a rocket. So, like, you need to thread the rocket through the door, through the, through the window, and I really don't think that's going to happen. Um, if I drop the rocket here... There's a chance to blow the wall. Let's see what that does. Oh, insufficient TU to fire the rocket. But you got 34. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be directly in front. They can't. The cane can't turn its turret. Um, and you've already tried to throw and failed. There's nothing. Nothing that I think Flesh Bonker can do here. I can't throw any smoke into this room because there's no entryway. There's no door. A grenade won't blow the door, won't blow a hole in the wall either. You only are carrying what you've got. You've already acted. Um, is there any way you could Hail Mary throw? I don't think you've got enough strength. But if I move you, you need 38 TU to throw. If I move you here, can you hail, how far can you throw this to there? So that's no use either. I can't deploy smoke. I probably should have gotten you to drop a smoke. You would, no, you didn't have enough TU after you threw the grenade. I think the grenade was the right choice. We just have to hope that he has taken enough damage that uh, his accuracy is low because I don't have any other options. Let's end the turn. Yeah, I know Fleshbuck has knighted. Okay, we got lucky. Okay, there's another guy though. We might not get lucky. Watch out, enemy reinforcements have started arriving. Time to make an exit. Yeah. Yeah, these are the scary, scary military mob suit cleaners. We don't want to mess with these guys. Right now, not without warden armor. A whole lot of them just spawned as well. How far can you run, Gao? Excellent. Just GTFO. Unfortunately, we have to leave that accelerated shotgun behind, which sucks a lot. Let's just get Cool S to sprint back to the dropship. Um, they can make it to the, the on-ramp this turn. I'll get them to finish their turn here. We also need to pull back Jake. Jake can get to here. Um, we'll get Kane to fall back around our gunner. Gotta be careful we don't destroy any cover here. We'll get... Game of Kane is done. We've got nobody else who's extended out apart from Henry who needs to run back to here. They can't quite make it this turn. I'll get them to finish their turn here. 
Do like this. We'll get Win and Ing back to finish their turn here. Like this. This is all covered. Sniper stays where they are. Machine Gunner stays where they are. This Rifleman stays where they are for now. I'm going to angle them this way, though, because I don't think anyone spawned over here. And we are aware of guys coming in from up here. And that's end this turn. And we can get almost everyone back next turn. I thought they killed Jake there. Ooh, that headshot. Yeah, they are a lot closer than I thought they were, and there's more coming. I maybe shouldn't have left our sniper up on top of that container. Okay, Jake's bleeding out. Uh, if we get everybody out this turn, that's not a problem. I've also got Anders, probably capable of healing them. So they can get to here this turn. Uh, they've, they'll be fine. They, they won't bleed out before the end of the mission. Let's get them out of there. And then we'll get Cool S just into the back of the dropship. There's nothing they can do. Can we get you all the way back? Not quite. You take cover here. I might as well get winning in back. Um, I'll get them to cover. Oh, they can't really cover. I'll get them to move to here. Just if they can shoot at someone if we need them to. Uh, Flesh Pocket definitely needs to get off the roof. I mean, I can get them to take a shot. I don't really think there's much point. Just run and get into the dropship. Uh, Game of Cain, can you make it? You can make it to here. Make that run. And then we've got Doom Slug. You can make it to there. Just do that. Anders can make it back, I think. Yep, yeah, Anders has a good sprint on them. Kane can make it to here. So next time we just have to get two people onto the dropship and we are good to go. Ugh. All the cleaners are just flooding in at the moment. Okay, Jake's going to bleed out this turn, but we will be fine. Game is just saving. We'll get Henry to here, and we will get Winning back to here, and that is mission complete. Okay, apart from me shooting a wall, that didn't go too badly, except for losing an accelerated shotgun, but at least we didn't lose a soul shoulder. soldier. I can build more shotguns. What we do need is we need more crash UFOs. Whew, I'm not going to lie, that music always gets to me. We killed 12 aliens there, wounded for 21 days, wounded for 18 days. We've got a lot of people in med bay at the moment. I'm not going to lie, a lot of our soldiers are injured. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of our 30 soldiers are in a combat ineffective right now. Which isn't a great, a great score. <laughs> I'll say that, at least. All right, let's speed time up and see. We're at 76% clear network progress. We're getting close to detecting their base. We probably want that to be done by the end of the month. Um, we can say we can sell that um, cleaner data. There's no other use for it but to sell it. And I might as well sell... Did I already sell those? I, did I already sell those guns? Kane, etc. Rifle, Sabedin, Corp, Sion, Corp, Sector, Corp, Capture, 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 Mentor, Cleaner Data. I must have sold them. But I'll sell these two for 46 grand. Okay, and that means I can queue up another another auto cannon, uh, which I will add to this auto cannon order here. So we just need to, it, we'll have equipment for that plane very very soon. Uh, the cube has its workshop now. I do want to hire staff for the cube. Uh, so we've got a capacity here of what's the capacity on the workshop? Where do I see that workshop capacity? Five. I can I can recruit five um, engineers here. So if I recruit, no, I don't recruit soldiers. I need to go to engineering, and I want to hire engineers. They're very expensive, I think. Yeah, I think they're like a hundred thousand each. It doesn't actually tell me how much they are. They might be fifty thousand each. We'll have to wait till the new month before we've got enough money to afford more engineers. But we will get some stuff under construction over there. Okay, New Sturgeon and Tau are back in action. That's great. New Sturgeon and Tau have been missed. That's one of our accelerated shotguns. That's all we can build right now. Day 59, we're going to get the new month in a second. Aerial Warfare has been researched, so this gives us anti-air missiles. I think this is new research, actually. Engaging extraterrestrial craft, because you get these missiles to start normally. Engaging extraterrestrial craft in combat is a remarkably difficult process, as even the most sophisticated human aircraft air defense is largely ineffective against the superior technology of our adversaries. There are various reasons for this, but the foremost is that alien craft can be fugitively difficult to detect. My tireless work on quantum radar technology is the only reason our organization is capable of tracking UFOs at all. The rest of the world remains entirely blind to the gathering threat. Yet even if we were to share our tracking data, most modern fighter jets would remain useless. Without a solid fix of the UFO, they would be unable to lock missiles. 
Similarly, attempting to deploy cannons would simply bring them in range of the powerful EMP effect generated by the discharge of the alien weapon, energy weapon. By contrast, our X-25 Angel Interceptors are adapted from the venerable MiG-25 Foxbat. This aircraft has electronic systems hardened to withstand EMP from a nuclear blast, allowing our pilots to freely engage UFOs with short-range cannons. Thankfully, my recent research has now allowed further combat options. I have managed to integrate the short-range quantum radar carried by our interceptors with the guidance system of two common types of missiles. The lighter missile is highly maneuverable and fitted with a high explosive warhead designed to shower the target with shrapnel. The heavier torpedo is far slower, but employs a powerful shaped charge warhead capable of penetrating and shattering enemy armor. Both are now available for construction in our engineering workshop. So we now get sidewinders and skylances. Um, our new research, it's too late to start Alien Origins. We've got a bunch of interrogations and autopsies to get done. There's Oscillonian power. I'm gonna blast through these interrogations. Um, I think getting a 50% bonus against Scions and Sibelians will help us out a lot. So let's get them started. And let's see how much money the uh, new weapons are gonna cost us. So Signwinder will cost us 20,000 and a Skylance will cost us 20,000. I think I will produce a Sidewinder um, and we'll save up for another one again. We'll probably go with one auto cannon, one Sidewinder when we get our ships upgraded. Okay, that's one auto cannon done. I actually want to instantly get that mount. Oh, okay. <sighs> this this wind popped up again, Mr. Price. We have 1,686,000 credits now. So we need to work out what we're going to do with all that money. There's a couple of things I have earmarked. Before I forget, oh, we need to rename this Griffin 2. Griffin 2 is now online and it is armed with one of our auto cannons. Next, we need to go to the engineering bay on our second base and see if we can hire five engineers. They're 25 grand each. So five engineers, AI is 125,000. I'm gonna do that. No, it's 250,000. Their wages are 125,000. So that means that this base will have a, a, a good amount of um, construction under it. And we can just ship across stuff, stuff across. It'll really help getting our planes up and running. Now we have 1,436,500 left. I'm guessing what we should probably do with that is site a base. Um, so I'd like to know in the comments if you agree with me that using this money to build a new base either somewhere here in um, Asia or maybe down in South America. I think Asia is the correct place. Let's get India and China and most of Asia pack covered with radar because the, these are areas the aliens will hit and panic is getting up in these locations. Although panic is at its worst in North America, unfortunately. Um, uh, we just really need to get our hands on some more aliens. The other thing we could look at doing is building a hangar, getting our third interceptor for the squadron up. We put the hangar here and keep this divider in place. I think I want to do that anyway. That's only going to cost us 100,000. We know we want the third aircraft, so I'm just going to get that in up and running. And uh, let's just see what else happens. Okay, we've got a UFO coming in from the northeast. It should hit our radar. Oh, is, it, is it not? No, it's, it's traveling along this way. So another argument, I think, to get ourselves a radar over here. And it's a, ooh, two very small UFOs heading out of our area. I'm going to launch interceptors. I don't know if they're going to have enough fuel, but even though Griffin 2 only has one auto cannon, they should be enough to take out two smalls. Um, oh, no, they are actually heading into our airspace. That's good. I thought they were heading out of it. Let's just zoom in. It, the zoom in is a bit awkward, but let's just zoom in. Oh, it's, it's so so easy to um, over correct. There's our second auto cannon. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too too late for us to uh, pick it up. And let's see how Squadron One and UFO Seven interact. Okay, it's two probes, so we should be okay to take these out. Let's jump into the fight. Okay, they're arranged in a in a, in a sort of escort pattern. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to bring Griffin to and from this side. I'm actually going to bring both our planes in together. A little bit apart from each other so the one that is focused will be, will be able to roll out of the fire of the other one and I want both of the planes to focus on the same enemy spaceship in fact would it be a bit better to bring them in here and here just to get a little bit away from this one so Griffin 1 looks to be the primary target I want to roll right with it so that's E and then we need to get ready to roll left with Griffin 2 Okay, wow, we took that probe out in seconds. And the other one's down too. Okay, good, that worked out pretty well. Okay, those two got destroyed very, very quickly. That's gonna get us some more alien allies we can use to build another um, shotgun, which is good. And also got some, we need to get some more warden armor built as well. 
What have the aliens got in store for us? That was an early... Um, oh, now that those planes are here, before I forget, let's get Griffin to its second auto cannon. Um, I do actually have extra fuel and a blade of plating, but I've got no hard points for that. That's right. That's how this works. And we have an actual proper UFO coming in um, on the same... We're going to have to send them both in. They're not... F uh, how much ammo? you got two ammo. Can we just hold until you are fully armed? It doesn't give me a pop-up, I think, when the gun is fully uh, full of ammo. Three. How long is it going to take to, to fill this, this gun up with ammo? I don't think I... I don't want to wait too long here. 48 rounds. I think that's going to have to be enough. Let's go. And let's see how Griffin Squadron does against an actual UFO. They should, they should do fine. It's turning away from us. It's a scout. So let's commence target. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, no, I like to bring them in from different angles against a single target. So you come in from here. You come in from here. We're getting them both to activate their afterburners. Okay, he's turning towards Griffin 1. I'm going to turn off Griffin 1's afterburner. And we'll get ready to roll Griffin 1 to the left. Just trying to dodge as much as I can here. I need to turn off the afterburner on Griffin 2. got the kill. Didn't take too much damage either. And that is an interception and an, and an actual UFO shutdown. We now have a UFO crash site in somewhere in Eastern Europe or Western Asia. Um, let's have a quick look. It looks like it's landed um, somewhere around Kazakhstan, I think. I'm not quite sure on my geography here. I need to think back to Terra and Victor. That is our mission for next time. We will be engaging this uh, crash UFO. I definitely want to just take a break before I do that next mission. It won't be too long before we do it. Let me know what we should do with the money. Do we build another base or do we get another ring of interceptors up? Or do we just sit on the money and purchase some base upgrades as they come in? That's the things I want to know from you. Thank you so much for watching. There is High Fleet coming, I promise. The next episode of the Nibbles Fleet campaign narrative campaign is recorded. I'm just working on the voice files for it. And of course, I'll have some more Man for you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.